another Keep Moving with Emily. I am so glad that you are joining me. Um, today's workout can be done totally seated or standing, so follow along with whatever version feels good for you. Um, we're gonna be getting a full body workout in today. We're gonna be doing three minute intervals, but in a little bit of a different way. It's gonna be really fun to get moving, but with different interval formats. Um, grab your tennis ball, weights, a chair, have a couple different sets of hand weights and some water, and let's keep moving. All right, get those things all ready. I'm gonna set these pieces of equipment next to me so we can get moving. Our warm up, we're gonna be doing some hand-eye coordination with that ball, so make sure you grab that. If you don't have a ball, you can always use a pair of socks or visualize what you're doing. All right, I'm just grabbing my weights. I like to have a couple of different options. You know, sometimes every day is a little different. Some days we feel stronger, some days you might feel a little bit more fatigued, so you listen to your body, change up those options at the end of the day. You know what's best for you. All right, well, if you're ready, we're gonna get started with our nice and useful warm up. I'm gonna take off what you need off my screen just because I don't think you need that anymore. All right, here we go. Take a big breath in, open up those arms, and close. Now, if you're standing, you can always do the standing. I always encourage you to stand if you're able to, just because get the muscles. You know you. Good. Okay. Perfect. You got this. Couple more here. And maybe if you want to add in that leg extension, warm up those legs, warm up those hamstrings. Do that too. Let's rotate those wrists up to the sky, up nice and high. Good, yeah, keep going. Perfect. Three, two, one, go. Nice. We're gonna get pumped up with this music. Get that body moving. Again, if you wanna add in that knee, go for it. Don't forget to breathe. Good. We're warming up our muscles, but we're also warming up our brain as we're working this hand-eye coordination. Good, again, if you're standing, if you're doing that knee drive, this is going to require a lot of balance, so be aware of that. Maybe you can standing and you're here. Good, let's go behind the back this time. Exchange the ball in front and behind. Good. Opening up that chest nice and big. You're focusing your shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades. Which direction? Like I said, we're going to be warming up that brain, warming up the body. You want to kind of do a nice little side step. It's going to challenge you even more. Keep working. If you're seated, just sit on the edge of your chair as you do this ball work. Good. One more. Perfect. Let's just bring those arms out wide. Turn those circles forward. Nice. And reverse it. Perfect. Good. All right, we're going to just kind of reach that ball up to the sky and nice little twist. We got to warm up that spine, warm up that core. Good. If you're standing, you're just here. And a nice little twist. Good. Keep that core nice and tight. We gotta protect that lower back. And don't forget to breathe. Nice. Feeling that core lengthening that spine. Good. Let's go two more on each side. Here's one. And two. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna finish with the nice little like cardio. First, reach those hands up to the sky, hands and hips down to the floor. Good. Just a couple of these. Can you give me three more? Reach it up. Down to the floor. If you're doing that standing version, you're just kind of doing like a little mini squat. Good. And rest real quick. Shake out those arms. Maybe you need to do some more chest openers. Maybe you need to roll those shoulders, march it out. I'm going to put the workout up on the screen, so I want you to keep moving, keep those joints moving, and we are about to get started. I'm going to put up 40 seconds on the clock. You are going to count your number of reps in this time frame. How many sit to stands or cherry pickers can you get in 40 seconds? And then I want you to write that down because we're going to be using that number throughout the workout, okay? So if you are doing the standing version, you're doing a sit to stand, and I want you to count those reps, all right? You wanna be safe, 
but we want to be a little bit quick because this is our cardio kind of EMOM every minute on the minute type of exercise. So if you're doing that sit to stand, reaching those hands up to the sky, hands to the ground, sit to stand. If you want to raise those arms, you can. If not, that's fine. If you're seated, you're doing that cherry picker. Hands to the sky, hands to the hips. Either down to the floor or hands to the sky, hands to the hips. Reach it forward if it makes you dizzy. You're counting your reps. I'm gonna put this timer on. I'm gonna let you know when we start and when we stop. You count, I'll count. We got this. And then write that number down. You need to remember this one. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Wee! We'll get started in about 10 seconds. Again, count those reps. I'm gonna do both versions so you know what, what it's supposed to look like. Let's go. Good, keep going. Keep breathing. Five seconds. And time. All right. Heart rate should be up there. Write that number down somewhere because you're gonna be using that a little bit later. I don't know who got what. Put it in the comments how many reps you got. It's a good way to keep ourselves accountable. So I got 20. So I gotta keep that in mind. The nice thing is, is these workouts, it is you against you. So whatever number you got, whether that's five, 20, 30, whatever you got, that is your challenge for you today. All right? So. Here we go. Our workout is up onto the screen. All right, are you ready? Here we go, here we go. So, let me read it real quick. Here's how it's working. We're doing three minute intervals, and these three minute intervals have different intervals within it. So, we're doing exercises on number one, bicep curls and jumping jacks. So we're gonna do bicep curls for 40 seconds. We're gonna do jumping jacks for 20 seconds rest for a little bit. Bicep curls for 30, jacks for 30, and then the last bit will be bicep curls for 20 seconds, and then jumping jacks for 40. You don't have to remember it, I'll put my timer on so we know what we're doing, but we're doing those two exercises for three minutes at different time intervals, all right? So grab those weights, they could be heavier because biceps, those are pretty strong muscles. If you can do the standing, great. If you need to do the seated, great. You listen to your body, are you ready? Let's do this. So, and we're gonna have like pretty short time rest in between those 40, 20, 30, 30, just so we kind of get moving, all right? So let's do this. Music is back on. Timer is coming up. Find those weights. Mm. All right, in three, two, let's go. Bicep curls for 40 seconds. Curl it all the way up to those shoulders way back down, exhale up, inhale down, yep, inhale down, perfect, keep it up, and drop those weights, let's go, jumping jacks for 20, so this is that seated version, maybe I'm tapping that foot out in front, maybe I'm going hardcore, yeah, perfect, Keep it up, keep it up. Options, you keep moving. Let's go. Last 15. Good work, good work. Yep. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Grab those legs. 30 seconds of bicep curl. Let's go. Maybe you change it up to that hammer curl. Your wrists are facing each other. Curl it up and down. If you want to add in a nice little leg extension, you can. We will both do those later. If you just want to focus on those biceps, totally fine. Good work. We got eight seconds left. And then we're going to drop those weights and go into those jumping jacks. Yep. 
Jeff Freed. Let's go, jumping jack. Here we go, here we go. Big jack. This is our cardio portion. Yep, we're gonna keep moving. Sit up, sit up. Yep. You want that hardcore? That's our hardcore. Let's go. Last 10. We're gonna grab those biceps. Do them for 20 seconds. Let's go. Keep it up. Three, two, one. All right, bicep curls. Last minute of work. Good. Keep it up. Curl it up and back down. Keep moving. Keep grooving. Let's go, let's go. Yep. And, woo. Give me five, four, three, two. Jumping jacks. Let's go, last one. And then we're moving on to our next exercise bit. Let's go. Finish strong, finish strong. Yep. So many different options for those jumping jacks. Maybe you do a seal jack. Good. You got it. Keep working. We're almost finished. Keep working, keep working. Yep. Three, two, and one. Time. Woo, catch your breath. We are moving on to exercise number two. Next one is that rainbow lap pull. So, weights are gonna start here all the way up. Pull those elbows down and back, press it up, all the way around. All right, 40 seconds there. You can do any version of crunches, straight in front, across the body, single, single, double, crossovers, have fun with it. 40 seconds, 20 for this first round. Grab those weights, whatever weight feels good to you, heavy or light. Remember, we're going for each of these intervals pretty quick. So we transition from rainbow to rainbow apple, drop the weights if they get too heavy, to punch it. Let's do this. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Pull so weights all the way up. Bring those down. Press it up. All the way up. Down. Woo! Making that big circle. Pulling those elbows down. Exhale up. All the way down. Controlling that weight. Good. Nice. You got it. Keep that core nice and tight if we're standing. Big circle up. If this is still too much, you can always just do a nice shoulder press. 10 more seconds. This is our longest round for the strength one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Punch for 20 seconds. Let's go. Straight in front if you want. Core is nice and tight. Let's go. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. 10 seconds. And then we're moving in to those flames. All out. Again, you need to drop that weight. Do it. Three, two, grab those weights. Let's go, bring it up. Bring it up. Woo, feel it in those shoulders. Nice, slow control. You got this. We got 15 seconds, and we're going into those punches. Yep. Good. I keep alternating between that standing and seated version. Drop those legs. Maybe you're coming across the body this time. We're coming up and back down. Whatever works for you. I'll have to change it up. Good. Maybe you're coming up to here. Maybe you're going up high. Mm -hmm. Extend that arm all the way out. You have a hard day? Did you have a hard day? Hard day. Punch it out. Three, two, one. One, shake out those arms. Last step is our shortest round for this one. And then a long round of punches. Feel them in those shoulders. Pull those elbows down. Press those weights out to the sky. Do you feel your core tighten? Can you reach those arms up? Nice. Keep it up. Don't stop. Keep working. Don't stop. Nice. And let's go. Punches. Nice and strong. 
strong. Maybe you're coming up across. Tapping out, spit out. Good. Keep working. You got about 20 seconds to go. Come on, finish strong for me. And we're moving on to round number three. Yep. You got it, you got it. Tap three, two, one. Woo! Shake out those arms. All right. We're going to move on to lower body this time. So get those weights out of the way. We're doing lower body and cardio right now. All right. Woo! Are we ready? So, we are doing either a seated leg extension, alternating between those two, really squeezing the top of that quad. If you're doing a standing version, maybe you're hanging on to something. You're bringing that knee up and extending that leg out. Knee comes up, then you extend. Cool? Those are our two options. Hang on to something if you need extra balance. If you're doing the standing option or you're doing the seated option. Then for our cardio, forward, like a push up, wide, push those arms wide, and up. Nice little cardio. You want to march it out, jog it out, four, five, up. You got this. We're going to work that mind. We're going to work that body. We're going to work those legs. Here we go. 10 seconds. We're going to get started. Big breath in, big breath out. Grab some water if you need it. Let's go. Leg extensions. We're here for 40 seconds. This is the longest round for this exercise here. Extend those feet. Now, if you're doing that standing one, that knee comes up. Then we extend the foot out, up, and out. Again, if you have something to hang on to, maybe a countertop or a chair. Nice, strong, controlled. Focus on the muscles that we are working. All right. Forward, wide, up. 20 seconds here. Good. Let's go, let's go. Up. Good. I switched up our time for this one. We just did the shortest round for those legs. Woo! Good. Up. Forward. Wide. You got 10 more seconds here. Maybe you're marching those feet. <laughs> I'm telling you, this challenges the brain so much. Keep it up. As long as you keep moving and rest. All right, back to those legs. Let's go. We're here for 30 seconds. Squeeze in that quad. Heel comes up. If you're taking the wall in front of you, you're going to feel this in your hamstring. In the quad. Good. Keep that core nice and tight. Sit up nice and tall if you're doing this one seated. 15 more seconds. Or you're almost doing like a karate kick if you're standing. Find that balance, then extend the foot. Good, five, four, three, two, we're moving fast. Forward, wide, up. Once you get this movement down, I want you to speed it up. Forward, wide, up. If you wanna do it standing, if you wanna march it out, good, or you wanna jog it out. So many different options. Keep it up, keep it up, keep moving. Keep grooving. Five, four, three, two, one. Longest rep here. Extend that foot out. Squeeze. Keep moving. You got this. Or we're here. We're here for 40 seconds. Nice. Good. Got 20 seconds to go. Keep it up. Good. 10 left. Let's go. I'm showing you both versions that's seated and that standing option. Three, two, one. Let's go forward, wide, up, forward, wide, up. If that's helpful for you to say it out loud, do that. That helps kind of keep track. Forward, wide. Again, you're going at your own pace. Maybe you're just driving a knee as you're doing this. Up to you. Three, two, and one. Rest. Nice job. Grab some water. We're moving on to number four. Keep it up. Are you ready? We're moving on to our next round. Upright row. So those weights come up. Elbows come high. To a kick out. 
We're working triceps and shoulders here. Elbows come high. Send those arms all the way out and back down. And then we're doing a sit up. Seated sit up, you can hop to the floor, but remember it's a quick transition. So tap the back of that chair and then sit forward. 40, 20, 30, 30, 20, 40. Okay? You got this. So remember, upright row. Those elbows come up nice and high. See how my wrists are lower than those elbows? And then straight out. So use weights, no weights. Listen to your body. Let's do this. Ready, ready? Five seconds, we're gonna get started. Find those weights that feel good to you. In three, two, one, let's go. Pull it up, extend it out, and back down. Good. This is our longest round here. You got it. Pull it up, extend it out, and back down. Keep that core nice and tight. Check these up nice and high. You can have a staggered stance if you're standing, or a nice wide stance if you're standing. Elbows come up, extend it out. Again, drop those weights if it's too heavy. There's no shame in that. As long as you're moving, think about what muscles you're working. 10 more seconds here. Pull it up, tops of those shoulders. Take it out, back of the arms. A little bit of biceps, back down. Three, two, one. Good, drop those weights. We're going into that sit up. Elbows come to those knees. Inhale back, exhale up. We're here for 20 seconds. Good. This is our shortest round of sit ups. And it only increases from here. But just think, we only do this move for the longest time for 40 seconds. We got it. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Nice. And rest. Good. Back to those upright rows for 30. Let's go. Pull it up. Kick it out. Good. You got it. Perfect, so we're working the tops of those shoulders. Kick it out, again, we need to be here. Down, no weights, no worries. Should make a shirt, no weights, no worries. Five, four, three, two, back to those sit-ups. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Inhale back, exhale forward. Really breathe out as you come forward up. Engage your core. Keep that back nice and flat. Tap the back of the chair. Good. We got 10 seconds to go. And then just think 20 seconds of that upright row. And here we go. Upright row. Kick it up. Nice. We're only here for 20. And then we're going to do 40 seconds of sit ups. And then Special number I had to record. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop those weights. 20 seconds here. Tap those elbows. Bring it back. Good. Nice. You got it. Five, four, three, two, Yep, and we're gonna go five more seconds. I know I tricked you, you got it. Three, two, and one. Rest, shake it out. All right, remember that number we, we recorded earlier? Whatever that was, minus 20. That is what we're going to do. We've got two minutes, so it's an EMOM, every minute on the minute. So, I'm gonna put two minutes on the clock. So when that first minute goes, you know, Tug the timer, we go. Hit that number, whatever number you got for those cherry pickers you sit to stand. You get to rest until that next minute starts. So if you can get your 20 and 30 seconds and you have 30 seconds of rest until that next minute, I'm gonna let you know how it all is gonna work. But we got two minutes on the clock, each minute, every minute on the minute. So hit that number and then you get to rest until I tell you to go again. Alright? So two minutes. Ooh, good song for this workout. All right, we got 10 seconds till we get started. Are you ready? Find that number, remember that number. Just 20. The idea is quickly. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. You have one minute to get that number. Let's go. Hey. 
Israel. Nice job, keep working. Once you've done them, you get to rest. We have about 15 seconds until we do that one more time. 10 seconds and then you're gonna hit that number one more time. So rest, take a breath. We've got one minute to hit that number in three, two, one. Let's go. Yep. good I love those imams because it's a great way to kind of challenge yourself so like for me I was doing 10 to stand 10 of those cherry pickers and so the idea of an imam is to either hit that number with greater rest or just even hitting that number within that minute so it's just like a fun challenge so I'm really proud of you remember I love this shirt of mine it says no matter what your limitation you can keep moving and so some days maybe that number will be higher because we have more energy um, or we're feeling stronger or whatever the case may be. And sometimes that number might be lower and that is okay. The whole idea is we want to kind of focus on that progress and not that perfection or comparing ourselves to others. That's why I continue to remind you, you go at your own pace, use the weights that are comfortable for you. I am just helping lead you. So great work. We're going to stretch it out to my beautiful song. Let's take a big breath in up to the sky. Reach lengthening that spine. As we exhale, bring those arms down and back behind. Lift up that chest. We did that full body workout. Lower body, upper body, cardio, some core. Nice job. Exhale, roll that back. Open up those shoulder blades as you reach those arms forward i can feel it all the way down my spine and the shoulder blades it feels good inhale open up those arms exhale one arm comes across bring that arm across rotate that chest we really didn't rest much with those three minute intervals we've just kind of kept on working so a little bit of endurance work today too with intervals open up those arms nice and big other arm comes across Good job. Nice. Open up those arms. Place one hand on the chair, the other arm comes up nice and high. And reach it over. We're gonna fill it in those obliques, a little bit in the shoulders and lats. Inhale that arm up. Exhale that arm down. Place it on the chair this time. Other arm inhales up. And exhale as you reach over. Get a little bit in the lower back. Lats feels good. Nice. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Let's get a nice little stretch in those legs. Grab underneath that thigh. Pull that foot all the way up. Rotate that ankle. Big breath in as you hug that knee to your chest. And as you exhale, extend that foot all the way out. Heels to the ground, toes pointed up. Next little hinge forward. Get a stretch in that hamstring. Maybe you can reach for the toe. If not, Chin, knee, or just stay here. You're still feeling a stretch in the back of that leg, and as you pull those toes up towards your face, you're gonna fill it in that cat. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Good. Place that hand underneath that thigh. Bring that foot all the way up. Ankles on top of that thigh. Hinge forward. Oof. It's good for the hips. Good for the glutes. 
a little bit in that lower back. As you hinge forward, if you're seated all day, this is a really great stretch to help with those hips. Breathe through these stretches. Place that foot on the floor, other side. Hug that knee up towards your chest. Rotate that ankle. Big breath in as you hug that knee to your chest. Exhale, heels on the ground, toes pointed up. Hinge forward, reaching that hand down the leg. Maybe you can reach for those toes, maybe not. Breathe through the stretch. Good. Place that hand underneath that thigh, all the way up. Placing that ankle on top of the thigh, hinge forward. And place that foot on the floor. One more big breath in. Oh, and exhale. Be proud of yourselves. You got your body moving today. You did your cardio. You punched it out. You worked those biceps and shoulders and all the things. Super proud of you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can access a lot more videos just like this. Good job today, and I hope to see you back at another Keep Moving Assembly. Have a good day. Bye.